to create application database and user first let me close this let me click on don't save now let me right click then let me say query tool here to get started i should be able to use create database command in this case i can say create then database the database name is nothing but car sales db then i'll also be coming up with a command to create user let me say create user car sales underscore user with encrypted password it varsity let me end this with a semicolon now let me say alter database car sales db owner to car sales user which means we are saying the owner for this database is nothing but this user this is how we can give complete control on this database to this user now let's select this and click on this to run the single command uh, here let me say don't ask again so that it is not prompted every time like this let me hit on continue now you can see the create database ran successfully now let's select this create user command and let's attempt to run using this you can see even this ran successfully now let's make sure to select this alter database command and click on this to run even this one ran successfully now the database and user are set up without any issues also we have granted complete control on database to the user now we should attempt to connect to this database using this user and this password on top of this we also need to specify the server and if required the port number the way we can uh, establish a new connection using this uh, application database is like this first let me make sure i close this let me say save in this case uh, i'll be saving under projects let me go to my home directory it should be under this pc then c drive then users then my username then i have something called as scripts now let me say pg create database or setup database demo the extension will be sql let me click on save now it is saved it is closed let me also make sure i am disconnected from the server so I have disconnected from the server where I have logged in as super user. Now I'll be registering a new server. For that I have to right click on this then say register then server. In this case the database is running locally and I am attempting to connect to the database using new user created. The username is nothing but car underscore sales underscore user and then at the rate and then the database server IP or dns alias in this case i am using dns alias localhost is dns alias the localhost ip is nothing but 127.0.0.1 you can use either of them in case if your database server is remotely set up you have to provide the remote server ip address or dns alias in this case this is just the name just for my informational purposes i have given the name like this you can choose the name of your choice but this is one of the best practices we follow now we have to go to connection to specify all the details uh, required to connect to the database. Here I have to specify the IP address or DNS alias. As our Postgres 17 database is running locally, either we can say localhost or we can also say 127.0.0.1. 127.0.0.1 is IP address, localhost is DNS alias. When it comes to port number, it is nothing but 5432. We have used default port number itself for our database setup. The default port number for Postgres database server is nothing but 5432. When it comes to maintenance database, we have used the default database itself, which is nothing but Postgres. But when it comes to username, it should be changed to car underscore sales underscore user. Then when it comes to the password, we have to specify the password which we have used to set up this user. I have used ITVST, hence I have specified ITVST as password. In case if you wanted to save the password so that you don't need to enter the password again and again whenever you attempt to connect to the database, you have to enable this. Then you should be able to click on save. Now it is saved and also it is connected. 
you can see that there is connection established you should be able to expand and you can see postgres already connected now to connect it to car sales db you just have to click on it now you are connected to car sales db as well now to run any scripts you should be able to right click and then click on query tool here you should be able to develop the scripts and run without any challenges as the database is set up along with the user and also as we are able to connect to the newly set up database using the user that is set up along with the database now it is time for us to create table and also perform CRUD operations so that we warmed up with respect to dealing with Postgres database.